in this episode we're gonna continue to take a look at glass here so i want to take a look at the absorption and scattering in this pixel surface here i'm just gonna connect it to my output collect node here and turn off diffuse and i'm gonna go into my glass here and turn on the refraction and reflection again if you haven't seen the previous episode one of these features here essentially cover there now let's go into interior here so we're gonna take a look here at first the extinction here so if I for example um, pick a color extinction is essentially absorption color so if you want one color you see the color wheel here so I said that you want to have red scattering or or blue scattering you have to pick the opposite color in the color wheel here because it's absorbing the color if it absorbs uh, cyan or bluish it will result in red so let's let's do that let's take here you see here it starts to absorb and we can see here red in this base here but then you also have many units here let's say take 10 units here or 10 in intensity you see here now this one is absorbing a lot here the longer the value here essentially the more it's gonna absorb and the deeper the color it's a bit like clear coat but for glass here so that's extinction then you also have single scatter here so this one is a bit funky at least here in Solaris if I put this one here and, and let's take a color here let's say that we want to scatter some of these values here sometimes I feel like nothing really happens or there's something happening but if I now let's say multi-scatter sometimes i have to restart my render here you see here if i go to restart render yeah you see here it's totally different so yeah i'm not sure if it's a bug in solaris or whatever it is but yeah if i turn on multi-scattering and uh, mess around with the single scatter uh, i noticed that um, it didn't kick in until i did the restart so that's just a caveat it might be just solaris and this version i have absorption of this red color there but now i'm using this single scatter albedo you see here now i get almost like a silt or a dirty water type of look onto this uh, green and uh, dial down my roughness and increase my a refraction roughness here so we can get almost medium here or some kind of liquid if i start to increase this the roughness here and then you have these advanced here this one is a bit non-descriptive this one could be the the naming here is not great g0 and g1 you have to be rocket scientist to know what this means but figure out that i think this is a relationship between the scattering and then you have a blend function here. G1 here, G0 is the control to directionality of the scattering once forward and minus one backward. And this one is the, the secondary scattering directionality. And I believe this blend here is uh, essentially a blend between these two. So when I set this one, I get a slightly different result. I'm not 100% sure exactly how this works. Multi-scattering essentially, yeah, produces a different look. I guess it bounces around a few times, scattering, and that's when you get this kind of look here. Volume glow, I guess, that's just gonna be what it means. It's gonna bright up the whole thing here. Yes, you can use that to give it an extra push here. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at the glow and the globals. If you want to support my channel, consider dropping a comment in one of the videos with information of upcoming episodes you want to see from Measurement Studio. See you in the channel. Bye bye.